What about the role of Chinese nationalism, Vicky? Do you think that that's changed or altered, and how has that affected the relationship? So just going back to Shahar's point about China isn't a monolith, which I very much agree. Um, but without orientalizing, I would also say there is such a thing as national character, uh, which isn't something that's made up, or it, is, it's, it isn't a myth, a set of policies, a set of values that have existed for a while, that have shaped in the society in such a way that most people agree that's how things should work. So for example, in China, that would be everyone should be somewhat nationalistic, and we, are, we all have an obligation to uphold China's uh, territorial, territorial, territorial integrity. Um, and, you know, I would say um, at post-1989, which is a really, really important turning point when, when we were trying to understand um, Chinese um, intentions, you know, Chinese state, party state intentions. So since then, there has been a massive educational campaign which directly affected my generation. I was born in 94. Our textbooks had an extra dosage of uh, nationalism and a lot of us grew up to become like rapid nationalists, including myself. So, um, so that just means, you know, when the state acts in the, I'm gonna say, in a mob kind of way, that kind of thing get um, carried over to, you know, in a globalized world, that means some examples we saw is like Chinese citizens or Chinese nationals doing things in a really sort of mob way, you know, when they attack Hong Kong protesters, like physically, and they did the same in Sydney, they did that in Brussels, and it happened in London. And um, I was very sort of um, shaken to see there was a large rally in Sydney. Um, they were holding this pro-Beijing rally, and then somehow they spotted this man who was holding a, um, you know, support human rights, Hong Kong is great banner, and then they abused him, and then later on they, they physically attacked um, a, a Taiwanese man. So that's the sort of national character that get carried over um, that I personally worry about. It's not, you know, security agency whispering to each other, blah, and blah, is a spy. Like, that's not, you know, that sort of espionage activities happen everywhere um, between all the countries, but what actually worries me is my generation of people, and increasingly the, 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 the younger people, are, I'm not gonna use the word brainwashed, but you know, that sort of way of doing things and silencing other people into agreeing with you, that when that becomes a habit of thinking, I think that's when it gets dangerous, and that's exactly how China, like the party state, has been acting towards Australia, right? So very briefly, I would say,